A home theater without a subwoofer is like a burger without meat. Theoretically, it is possible, but it doesn't make any sense. That is why the only question is which subwoofer to choose to achieve the optimal ratio of consumer properties and price for each particular installation. For instance, if the room is small or you're not ready to make your new subwoofer a key element of the interior, then get ready to look for not just a good, but also a compact unit. With such requirements, the choice narrows dramatically, but there are interesting models. One of them near me is the SVS 3000 Micro, a very small but very wicked subwoofer. Hello everyone, this is Pult Electronics and me, Deco. Let's go! In the catalogue of the American SVS, there is a clear and understandable hierarchy of models. The backbone consists of four families, 1000, 2000, 3000 and 4000. The higher the number, the cooler the unit is. Higher power, more accurate bass and so on. There are several models in each family, usually three. But the SVS 3000 Micro is somewhat out of the general logic. It is one of the most compact in the current range of the company, but belongs to the high class 3000 series. I should say at once that it is just not an attempt to raise the toy subwoofer's status in the eyes of buyers, but a statement of its huge potential. In this case, size is very deceptive. Here are the facts. 800 watts long-term power and 2.5 kilowatt peak power thanks to the Sledge STA800DM amplifier module on 600 volt MOSFET transistors. And there are two 20 centimeter drivers, each with a long throw moving system, four layer coil and an aluminum cone within a small enclosure. The drivers are oriented in opposite directions and run in phase. On the back panel you can see quite a standard set for modern SVS subwoofers. RCA inputs for a wired connection and USB port for optional wireless module. As well as the buttons for basic settings. More fine tuning including phasing with 1 degree steps and correction of the amplitude frequency response with a 3 way parametric equalizer can be performed via the proprietary application. Synchronization of the controlling gadget and the subwoofer is performed via Bluetooth, though after all the settings have been adjusted, you can, of course, switch off your smartphone and forget about it. There are two finishes to choose from, black and white, both in glossy. SVS 3000 Micro resembles a cosmic black hole by its construction and efficiency. It is really thin, but at the same time it will handicap many much bigger models by its power. A sort of energy clot of very high density, this small device weighs as much as 12 kilograms. Using two drivers pointing in different directions enabled to level out a known problem of many compact but powerful subwoofers. At high volume they tend to move or even bounce. Here the inertial effects of both drivers cancel each other out. But if considering that the acoustic enclosure of the 3000 is closed, it is frightening to imagine what kind of rarefaction or, on the contrary, pressure is created inside the enclosure during dynamic bursts. Fortunately, the case is made of very thick MDF boards and is certainly designed for such mechanical overloads. Nevertheless, are there any pitfalls in the case of the SVS 3000 Micro and is it an equal alternative to a regular subwoofer? So if only power and bass quality are important for you and the area of your room exceeds 35 to 40 square meters, I personally would prefer one SVS SB2000 Pro or even a couple of younger SVS SB1000 Pro. In the second case, you'll have to pay a little extra, but the result will be worth it. But all listed models are noticeably bigger, especially if we're talking about a pair of subwoofers. Should you buy the SVS 3000 Micro, you will get higher power than even SP2000 Pro with its incredibly compact size. Such a subwoofer will easily get lost in the interior, that is its main advantage. But the presence of two drivers means that it must be placed only in a free space and the small volume enclosure causes a slightly less impressive lower bound. If the same SP2000 Pro has actual minus 3 decibel lower bound at 20Hz, this one has about 30Hz and it goes down smoothly. But these are admittedly nuances. It is important to know that with the size of the 3000 you will hardly find more powerful and deep bass for this price. If you compare this subwoofer with the larger SVS models of comparable price purely by ear, then in a room of less than 35 square meters the difference will be very insignificant. So the gain in size of the 3000 Micro is much more obvious than the lack in bass quality. 
In general, all new files of stylish interiors, in which it is necessary to install a home theater as painlessly as possible, can safely rely on this mini subwoofer. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You'll find all the information down below. See you soon.